Welcome back to You Both Suck. This is a comedy podcast about conflict. I am Dara Pollock. I'm Kunal Aurora. And we like to start things off here with a really fun rendition of Fuck, Mary Kill. It's New York edition. <laughs> I, I called you. You pitched me an idea. Yeah. And I came back around. Because mm-hmm. you, you left the door open. You're like, what do you suggest? Right. And I was like, what about this? And you go, and you were like, I'm game. Okay, so why don't you tell people for a change? Because yes. I tell everything. Right, okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> so today's Fuck, Marry, Kill is Long Island, Westchester, New Jersey. New York City adjacent places. Oof. And I want you to kick it off. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna piss some people off right now, I'm pretty sure. I'm okay with that. Okay, so I think I'm going Marry, Westchester... Fuck New Jersey. Wow. Kill Long Island. Wow. Yeah, I fucking said it. Yeah, I fucking said I'm gonna it. I'm going to be honest. I didn't even. Can, whew, okay. <laughs> rationale. Okay. My rationale is, first of all, Westchester is just delightful. Like, it's such a quaint little, I don't know. It's just every time I go there, I'm like, it is so friggin' cute here. Mm. And it's just, I don't know. I think it's a nice little town. I could see, like, marrying that kind of a vibe, right? Right. And this, I threw a curveball. I'm fucking... New Jersey, because I feel like it actually is not as bad as we have all grown up to sure. think that it is. Like, right. we are Queens people. Mm-hmm. We have grown up to hate New Jersey. 100%. And, like, love Long Island like it's so special. Long Island kind of fucking sucks. I mean, wow. what are what are their redeeming qualities? Oh, you have a cheesecake factory? Cool, okay. bro. Like, I don't know. I'm just saying. I think... Go off. <laughs> Go off. Don't stop. I'm just saying, would you like rather party in Jersey City or Ronkonkoma? You know what I mean? I'm just saying like there are some parts of Long Island that I like, but for the most part, I feel like I'm kind of done with Long Island. I've spent a lot of time Mm. there. I don't really need it. I feel like Jersey's come up and is a... Coming? (laughs) Or or here in your case. That's not the word. Yeah, Yeah. like there's cool shit to do in Jersey. There's also a pretty decent restaurant scene in a lot of places like Jersey City, Montclair. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't I don't fucking hate it. I don't hate it. You know, I mean, listen, it smells a little bit sometimes. There there is that. I'm not gonna discount that as a thing. Armpits gotta smell from time to time. (laughs) But that's what I'm saying. That's why I'm gonna I'm gonna keep Jersey around. I'm gonna fuck Jersey. Okay. That's it. Yeah. I'm gonna say um fuck Long Island. Okay. <laughs> Kill Westchester. Ooh. Marry New Jersey. Okay. All right. Yeah. But we had similar vibes. Similar okay. vibes, Go right? Ahead. Now, marry New Jersey, to me, like, it's Jersey has a wide range. That's what I'm Once saying. Once you go past Newark Airport, <laughs> there's a whole world out there. Exactly. And it's pretty solid. From Elizabeth to Princeton mm-hmm. to even Atlantic City. There's I mean, something yeah. for everybody. She's a workhorse, <laughs> oh, yeah. and I like it. Okay. Okay. Whereas, fuck Long Island. Okay. Okay. I think that there's something. There, she's still a bad bitch, mm. and that's what I like about her. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to fuck Long Island. Okay. But kill Westchester. I don't want anything to do with it. No, thank you. You know what? Oh, what are you? You're Bronx people that just moved further north. That's all you are. You put you just because you got a lawn now. Mm-hmm. You think you're better than me? I mean. You're not. <laughs> <laughs> you can get I, killed i don't know it's a pretty lovely town <laughs> i'm sure i'm sure man this is a we draw some strong yeah. lines in the sand here we did but you know what i'm actually surprised at your answers i i really thought you were gonna be saying kill new jersey i did because no. i just feel like that's what new yorkers are trained my to girl's think. from jersey i can't be out here doing this Got i it. can't be you know what i mean it. if we're not gonna get married in real life i might as well marry here all right <laughs> respect okay yeah. respect Thank i like you. it all right, good. So that was uh, that was interesting. Okay, not, not too bad. <laughs> you also hit me up with a you hit me up with this in the email, and you said something which is dope. Oh yeah, a little. You said I'm thinking maybe a little Gen Z slang quiz. Yes. And you're like, I'm gonna throw some words out here and let's see, because I'm gonna be honest. I I'll only admit this on the podcast. Mm-hmm. I, you are a hipper person than me. I I mean. I know I know I know underneath <laughs> like your outward presentation. Okay. Is cool. I mean, thank you. I know you. underneath what you are. <laughs> okay, I know underneath you are like you're like um you're like Drew Barrymore, never been kissed. You're <laughs> okay. like a forty year old at a high school. <laughs> How dare you? Yeah, but like outside, I'm hip. I'm cool. Outward, <laughs> please stop. I'm trendy. <laughs> Outward, your presentation is really solid. Okay. okay? Well, thank whereas you. me, I feel like good God, I'm old everywhere. Okay, interesting. Well, yeah. I will tell you that I spend 
a decent amount of time on the interwebs mm -hmm. and that's also how you know i'm old because i just said interwebs but um i part of my job for those of you who don't know is social media management social media content creation i work with like restaurants primarily brands whatever to kind of create content and it's usually centered around food right so a lot of my time is spent on tiktok and instagram learning trends and all the shit and i'm constantly seeing these words just thrown at me yeah. and i'm like what is what does this mean yes. yeah <laughs> so um yeah so hang on sorry i forgot to pull this up before so totally understandable yeah i'm that's yeah. why i'm like nervous because you already know all these things I, there is still some that i probably don't know i honestly. get it but there's a lot of stuff that i don't know right and now i feel alarmed <laughs> it's kind of like um when people had uh like there was like a, what boomers thought acronyms were, uh -huh. you know, like certain like LOL was yes. like uh, laughing Laugh on Lord or something like that. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> la like some stuff like that or like LMAO was some something else. Right. It wasn't laughing my ass off. It was like something entirely where it's just like, right. Uh, Lord, may I, you know, <laughs> it's like always something related to God or Jesus or something. Yeah. And you're like, like this BRB is not wasn't it. be right back. It was just like bringing uh, rum to the, to the backyard. <laughs> it's like some nonsense. I never even heard that, but it's, it's I'm just making this up on the fly, but I'm saying Got that it. like boomers thought that these acronyms meant something else entirely. Yes. And this is going to feel, I'm going to feel like a boomer right Right now you probably are yeah i mean i think you'll know some of them sure. but still um please be gentle <laughs> okay so i will but this also just so you know uh is a few months old at this point so i can almost guarantee you there is stuff on here that i'm probably missing it's like new technology when it comes yeah. down you're like this is now outdated <laughs> like literally right. i think it probably is it's got some of the main ones though so okay here we go yeah all right let's see all right so we do like what five um let's do okay five, let's and do then five see how many i can get out of five okay i'm gonna then let me pick them because I've yes. got about, I have eight here. Yeah, okay. okay. So that should be solid. Should okay. Be, yeah. So let's go with the first one, which is Chugi. Chugi? Chugi. C -A would can, you like a spelling and a definition? You're like, can you spell it? Can you spell Chugi? <laughs> you're like, what is spelling me? Can I have a definition? Yeah. Um, C H E U G Y. Chugi. Chugi. Does it have something to do with Bugs Bunny? <laughs> Why would it? Like the Chungus? <laughs> is I've heard about this thing called Chungus. No, I don't God even know what that it. is. <laughs> damn it, Dara. You really went. You know what I mean? I'm thinking like something light. <laughs> you go right into Chuggy. I had to lead off with the one that got me. I heard it and I was like, what in the actual blue heck is this? God damn it. Oh, man. All right. Okay, so do you give up? Yeah, of course I give up. I thought it was Bugs Bunny related. Okay. Go. Chugi is a term used to describe outdated things that millennials do and oh, use you're... and wear. Or just like in general, it's like... This you know is what, a you know what you are? Cringe. You're a POS. You know what the, uh, can you put that together? So what that means? Can you figure that one out? <laughs> it's like cringe. Yeah. It's like anything that's cringe, but it's usually referred to as like something that we like our group of people does is usually right. oh, that's chuggy. Okay, so now you know. Oh god, I feel <laughs> awful. I feel gross. <laughs> okay. Um, let's go with another one. Mm -hmm. Um cap or no cap? Um, I feel like you know this. This one, I think I should be able to figure out if I'm if I uh, like no cap is like no lie. Yes. Okay. Yeah, Good yeah, job, yeah. Kunal. Go. Yeah. Yay. Which to me honestly feels like um, like you know how facts. Oh yeah. Facts mm -hmm. is like a big one. Yes. Okay. Cool. So yeah, cap or no cap is like lie, no lie. Right. Yeah. Correct. Um, okay. I don't understand what why the cap though. Well, see, that's what I was gonna say. Facts at least makes fucking sense. Yes. Because you're like, like facts. It's right. true. But cap and no cap, I don't know the origin, the etymology of yes. the word. I'm gonna have to look into that because right. I don't know it. But either way, all right. Number three, mm -hmm. drip. <sighs> drip. Okay. I <laughs> And not like... I know how to spell that. No, I was going to say, but not like uh, drip, like... Nasal? You know, come through, drip, drip. like. Oh, I, <laughs> my the only drip I know is nasal. 
Like we're talking, I've got drip and it's like, oh <laughs> dear God, you don't want that to get out of control. Yeah. Like when I hear drip, I'm thinking Sudafed. Okay. But I, is drip like when you're looking nice? You're you're on point. It's like your outfit. It's like it's your my like, drip. This like is a lot my of new dri- drip. Yeah, because you know, man, you know what I heard. How did you get there? Because I think it's um, I might have heard it in a rap song. That sounds so bad. <laughs> that sounds so bad. Okay, I, Dad. <laughs> yeah, you should take that point away because of the way I explained it. So I'm currently two out of three. Um, let's see. Oh, so many to choose from. I know. All right. You have eight to choose from. I know. Relax. I know. I mean. This one I think you're gonna know, but slaps. Oh, like slaps would be like something slaps. Oh, uh, that's like if it slaps, then it's like dope. It's great. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, okay. it's, that was an easy one. Yes, I gave you that. Point. You did. You did. <laughs> uh, listen, I'm okay with n- not passing this. Okay, got it. Yeah. All right. Well, then, how about bussin? <laughs> you know, I've heard this term before. I know you have. <laughs> I have heard this term before, but I still have. No damn. Oh, it, the only bussin I'm thinking of yeah. is like bussin tables. <laughs> that's, I mean, yeah, no, that's that's, that's not, not it. it, right? It doesn't mean to pick up after yourself. <laughs> no, it does not. <laughs> it doesn't mean like, oh, hey, son, you better be bussin. So, well, here's the thing, though. Yeah. I've heard, so I actually don't have this one on my uh, glossary because I found two meanings for this one. Okay. And one of them does supposedly have to do with food. Okay. I Like, with some people are like, where did bussin come from? And it's like, supposedly it's something to do with some, like, food that's really good. But then another one just says it means something that's extremely awesome and great so i guess it can be used interchangeably but i have no idea so bussin <laughs> means awesome it could be oh, or it man. could only mean food that's bussin I, I i don't know food that's great <laughs> food that's great well i mean it, i think that's universal i think that that's, that's what uni- i think yeah, too i think but it's universal i have no idea okay so all right so let, we got we're at four now okay so we yeah. got one more one more all so right. wait hold on a second i'm technically at three at, no no i didn't get bussin right either i'm two okay. out of four all right. And so then, this would be the game changers to I pass this exam or not. Okay. Um having trouble deciding. Don't pull don't pull back. Don't and I don't I'm not worried about failing. All right. Like yeah. say less. S- let me tell you something about say less. <laughs> People need to stop saying that. Say less is like like I've heard enough. Mm, yeah, I, kind of. Yeah, yeah like say like, like I I already agree. Exactly. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, basically yeah. that. I and in my glossary here, I actually wrote I was offended the first time someone said this to yes. me. Yes. <laughs> yes. Cuz it comes off really rude. Someone's like, "Okay, especially via text." Yeah. Someone said it to me via text. They were like, "Say less." I was like, "Okay, fucking it, calm down." Right, like, right. It was so There's short. People that say they're like, "Say but, less." Yeah. Just like, like I don't but that's the point of communication. <laughs> let me go yeah let me say more yeah i need to say more yeah yeah i want to throw in a bonus one please on god hmm on god that should be like i believe that's like i swear yeah it's basically like saying on god like hand to god like that kind of thing that's what i think it really is it's just other slang that just is now the replacement of previous slang yes oh Oh, yeah of course but like it is but it's still god i still feel so old when i said that when that came out of my mouth i go what are you 90 (laughs) there's another one too that i need to find but we can move on but i'm still gonna keep looking these up because there's i found an article when i was searching this before of 50 of them but some of them are like things that we've been saying for years so yeah it's I was never just like, it's never like dank was on the list i'm no, like you no, don't no. get dank, dank we've been not... saying dank about weed since i was in fucking ninth grade a thousand percent. get out of here yeah so right. anyway so let's uh let's move forward let's move forward okay it is Squabble time. Squabble time. All right. Um, squabble squabble time. Squabble day, squabble day, squabble day, squabble day. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> squabble day. Okay. Um, female 28 NYC. So let's set the stage. I've been with my boyfriend now for almost a year. And this past Christmas, we were going to go to Buffalo to see his family for the holidays. It was going to be my first time meeting all of them. We couldn't take the train because I have a big dog. And since we are both city dwellers who don't have a car, we had to rent one. I was responsible for packing us and the dog while he went to JFK to pick up the car rental. He calls me from JFK saying we can't get the car. Why? Because they won't take his debit card for the deposit. Just use your credit card, I said. I don't have a credit card, he said. 
I question my life choices at this point because I am <laughs> dating a 34 year old man who has never had a credit card in his life. What's worse, my license is expired, so I can't even rent the car. It is December 24th and we are fucked. I scream at him for being a man child outside of my apartment building while my dog takes a shit and the bodega boys laugh at me. Mm. We take an Uber. We take two Ubers. We go as far upstate as we can afford to, a.k.a. Peekskill. We are pissed and silent the whole time. All I want for Christmas is you, plays three times in the Uber. (laughs) He calls his best friend to come pick us up from a random train station while I scowl. For extra dramatic effect, this dude is an orphan not once but twice over. His adopted parents also died, my God, who lives in Albany. He drove down from Albany to pick us up and then drives us to Buffalo on Christmas eve shockingly it winds up being a lovely holiday the double orphan from albany stays for christmas the cops love my dog i am shown family photos i and then i tell him we should venmo his friend for what he said are you fucking kidding me for gas and mental anguish so do i suck for being a cunt and being the reason we had to rent a car or him for being a man child and the reason we couldn't rent a car i was actually just looking up the driving distance between peakskill and albany what is that? It's I didn't do that. Currently, I, it's about two hours. Wait, not Albany, Buffalo. No, I, I know, but he came from Albany. Oh, oh, right. From Albany to uh, yeah. Peak Skill. That's wild. And then Peak Skill to Buffalo. Right. Yeah, I just needed to. I needed to look that up. That's fair. I didn't do that. I just no. assumed it was really far. That right. Was I, yeah. But it, I didn't know exactly where. I went to school in Albany. Oh right, yeah. Yeah, but I don't know where peak skill fell in terms of that, and so, that's really. Yeah. But this is a very meaty submission. Yeah, I love. I got to give credit to the writer uh, for making it fun, making yeah. it interesting, and also you added meat. Oh you yeah, gave it. You gave it heft. Yes, and uh, so much angst in yes. that. There, like you could tell, there was anger behind that email. A hundred percent. Yeah. So um, okay, yeah. I gotta say this. Mm-hmm. When you rent a car and you live in the city, mm-hmm. to go to JFK to uh, rent a car yeah. is truly, I mean, for those who don't live in New York City, New York City, five boroughs, it's, it's not the biggest right. in terms of like there's a bigger places, but JFK is out there. Mm-hmm. It is on the border of Queens on the south end. Yeah. It is as far away from everything as possible. Yeah. You got to take a train. Mm. You got to take an air train. Yeah. <laughs> when you get off the last stop of a train in New York City, then you hop on the air train, then you got to get to the rental place. Mm-hmm. It yeah. is far. It is very far. Yes. That was one of the first things that I picked up on i was like why did they do this this way or right. try to, to but to, anyway. because to save money okay yeah that's really what it comes down to sure because you didn't want to go to a place near you so this is what you're doing yep yep and Fair. um when you say to me you know we um he's gonna get the car rental mm-hmm. um i have a big dog and i have to pa- we you know pack i yeah. had to pack us while he went to get the yeah car. but you didn't have to pack you didn't pack them you didn't pack his stuff right he definitely packed his stuff because dudes pack quickly, mm-hmm. just what it is. Yep. You got to deal with the dog stuff, and that's a whole different situation. Right. So it's everyone's got their part to play here. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. So I don't. I'm already not on the side of the writer going like, well, you know, that's his job. Yeah, your job is to deal with your dog, which is yeah. why you have to go and do this entire nonsensical situation to begin with. Okay, so you think that the writer, it should have been the writer's responsibility to get the car, but she doesn't have a license, so she can't. Well, that's the other thing, too. Yeah. You don't have a license. I mean, I know. That's you, what, you're yeah. rolling around? <laughs> you're rolling dirty without a license? You got your license expired? Well, expired, I was going to yes. say. I, but I do feel like that happens to people who've been living in the city for a long time. If you haven't had a car in a while, I mean, I don't know. I've, I've had a car off and on for years, so. Yeah. You keep your I, license ready to go. Yeah, yeah, for sure. This is, but. It's hard for people. Like This is, this is the thing. There's New Yorkers, and they come in all different ways. Yeah. Now, I can't assume this person is or is not one. I was going to say that. Probably not from here. Probably not. Guess. But yeah. like when you're from Queens, Queens New Yorkers, to a certain extent, they generally have cars. Yep. Because to us, the train system let us down. <laughs> <laughs> and the buses are always a nightmare. Ugh. So it's just like we we have cars. Yeah. That's how we are. Yeah. But 
So for us, we keep our license game tight. Yes. However, I did not have a car for many years. When I yeah. moved to Manhattan, I still had a car right after college, but I barely used it. And then when I moved here after that apartment, I, well, my brother crashed my car. So that was that. But I mm. mean, I didn't bother getting another one because I was just like, I, I'm not going to park it on the street. I just didn't. Now I have like, you know, a spot in my building. So right. I, that's the only reason I have a car right now. Otherwise... I wouldn't, but I still think that I probably would have renewed my license. I didn't have it. I didn't have that's, a car for years. That's what I'm saying. Like yeah. even I park on the street. I'm right. out here, right. swinging, living wild, <laughs> and it's yeah. okay. Yeah. You know, my father was a parker. I'm a parker. That's good. You know, yeah. my good son be. will be a parker. This is what it is. <laughs> the letting your license expire is a wild thing. Okay, but do you really think that letting your license expire is on the same level, or maybe it is the same, just different, as not having a credit card at 34? I was going to, I was really like ju uh, judgmental about yep. the credit card, about not having a credit card at 34. Yes. I've had a credit card since I was 22. Okay. So I actually have a fun fact. I think I did not have a credit card at 34 for like a year. That's which is I'm funny, saying. which is very funny because but, it's like the same age. I just, I ran myself into some serious credit card debt. And once I paid it off, I was like, fuck this. I'm not, I'm not yeah, taking it back. But I mean, I have that's one again That's what I'm now. saying. <laughs> like, it's just like you become mature about these types right, of things. Right. And my buddy, he doesn't have a credit card. Yeah. And I mean, he's 35. Yeah. And it's like, why do we have to stick into the rules of society i mean you have to build credit that's, yeah, it's but a, do you, know, you i mean kind of yeah well if you want to do anything it's I, like you got to get an apartment you need a credit check i mean I, do you I getting don't, a car i still believe in yeah. the underworld i mean maybe i don't know listen. i still believe in finding a place where you go listen man i'm well, gonna pay you in cash that's because we're from queens and, and you're just kind of like i got a guy <laughs> yeah and it's like it's weird how we're like the uh, keeping your license <laughs> yeah. is one thing but then uh, but also a shade as possible is another yeah, yeah it's like i'll give you the license <laughs> right but that's as far as you get from exactly me. you're yeah. like uh, no. i don't believe in having a i have two credit cards yeah actually technically i have three okay and i keep them at a zero balance perpetually oh yeah see i'm not i'm definitely not great with my credit cards i'm not like in the debt i was in but yeah. there's there's some on there <laughs> there's some hanging oh yeah you got a little you got a little couple yeah, hangers just, it's like one of boogers in the note yeah it's not no out the notes but it's hanging in there it's, it's hanging yeah, yeah. listen shit happens happens things you gotta it, i'm not the best with it i'm oh, really? admitting that admitting yeah. that it's just before not, even yeah. mine hits the card oh yeah i'm hitting it with a payment interesting so well, that's it good. balances no, that's a good out way to be. well yeah I but mean, that's but that's why i'm saying i am somebody who's not been great at managing my money and i'm right. this is not about me but we use our stories to make it uh relatable and i was this guy for like a year and i actually did also get into a fight with um my ex about it because he was like wait seriously and much like this girl, I think it made her, it made him question like me in the same way that she's questioning this guy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it was one of those moments, I think, where you look at your partner and you're kind of like, I don't know you. <laughs> Do you know what is, I mean? But it's just like, it's such a fixable thing. No, of course. I mean, you know? yeah, I got one shortly thereafter. Right. But, it's not you know. like credit card companies are not like. I can't believe you've taken so long. Oh, yeah. You know Forget I mean? it. Are you kidding? They, they are, live for you not to pay. They're ready to go. Yeah, they live for you not to they pay. They are. I got my first credit card at a baseball game. <laughs> okay? Literally, I'm on the way to the bathroom. <laughs> and the guy was like, do you want a free blanket? This sounds like child trafficking. <laughs> I know. I know. I was All I wanted to do was go pee. Yeah. And the guy was like, do you want a free blanket? I go, sure. What do I got to do? He goes... Give me your home address and social security number. And I was like, <laughs> yeah, buddy, no problem. How old were you? I was well into my, I, at this point I was 22. Oh my God. It was just like, who gives no. a shit? The guy was like, you want, and I go, no, and I'm wearing the blanket like a cape. Oh my God. It was summer. <laughs> I did not you need just, it. You gave out your social security number on the street. Enjoy. <laughs> have a time <laughs> it's your party oh my god i, I was at a stadium what well, it's not that shady uh, it's it sounds incredibly shady actually he also <laughs> got into the stadium oh my god so i gave him the information two weeks wow. later i get a credit card okay. i had the blanket right then and there yeah and i'm like this is chill three thousand dollar limit 
Yeah. I immediately got bottle service <laughs> and I nice. went into crippling debt. Yeah. See, but that's what happens but, sometimes. I know. <laughs> but that's the thing is to, to when you're 34 and this guy is like, listen, I'm only going to live within my means. Yeah. I respect it. That's what that's what I was just going to say. I was like, believe me, I'm not proud of the credit card situation that I had also at the same age. And but the reason I did that was because I wanted to get my fucking life together yes. and not end up overspending like I was doing. But it's not hard to get credit established. No, no, of course not. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying is like he could have done it the right way, but maybe he also has some problems with managing yes. his money. But and that's a conversation maybe then you might want to have. Wouldn't you respect that though? If yeah. a person's like I'm not, uh, listen, I'm not good with managing my money. And yeah. instead of being in debt, I've chosen to live off a debit card. Yeah. I would respect that immensely more yeah. than somebody rolling up to be like, my credit cards are maxed up. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. that's, I agree. And that's what I'm saying. So in a way I get where she's coming from, but I also get where he's coming from. Right. And I feel like it. it's one of those things where I don't know that that conversation needed to happen yet, but it should have happened at, after or before They're this holiday. They're almost a year though. That's what I, yeah, but I don't know that I'm, well, okay. She that's is still early. 30, that's what I'm saying. I think yeah. it's early to have that conversation. Right, right, right. So whether or not she's judging him for it, I understand it. I get it. But I'm not sure that that conversation would have happened naturally at this point anyway. Yeah. So it's like you just found out something that you didn't like. Right. And now you have to figure out what you want to do with it. Exactly. You know, but... And then to yeah. scream at him? Yeah, that's never never a good idea. <laughs> Where do you come off? You're going to yell at a guy who went to JFK? Yeah. Even if you guys lived in Far Rockaway, <laughs> which isn't far from JFK, it's right. still a trek. Yeah. And you're going to resort to screaming at a guy yeah. who's taking a car to see his family when he would generally take a train. True. Yeah. Because you have to bring your big dog. Yeah. No, it's true. Well, okay. Yes, that's true. Where and do I... you come off, lady? <laughs> Where do you come off? I, yeah, I get that. I do think holidays are tough and yes. you have to quantify that to some degree that, you know, emotions are going to be running high. I'm not saying that that was the right thing to do. I think yelling at somebody and making them feel bad about something that they likely already feel bad about is yeah. never a good idea. Yeah. You're never going to get what you want. You out think of that. that this person showed up and they were like, no, man, yeah. I, I know you said I need a credit card. I'm bringing a debit. Right. Like yeah. that's bonkers. Exactly. If they admitted that to the writer, mm -hmm. then I'd be like, yo, have at it. <laughs> yeah. Now, you man's an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> but he shows up, he goes, hey man, I got a, I got a debit card. Apparently this is a thing. Yeah. I mean, I, I do feel like that is something that you should know though. Again, unless they're and, not from here, but they- In terms of a rental, generally, I believe that they- Yeah. I thought that they stated you need a credit card and not a debit, but right. I could be wrong because I've, I've always had a, de a credit. See, and that's the thing. And I also- I remember wanting to rent a car when I was 23 and that was when I learned that you had to be 25. Yeah. I didn't even know that that right. was that's also bonkers. You know what I mean? It's such yeah. a random number. It's not like 18 or 21. Those yeah. are the legal things for ages for other things. So weird. But I mean, so I'm like, maybe he didn't know that. But I hate it when way. you turn 25 and people tell you, oh, you could rent a car now. Please yeah. stop talking. To me. <laughs> I know. Please like, leave me alone. That's one of those like. Yeah. yeah, cool. Slow I'm clap. really excited. <laughs> Stoked about it. Yeah, or like anytime yeah. there's that, or 18, yeah, you could vote now. Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing like, <great>. changes. <laughs> you know what? Let me it all stays the same. Yeah, it all stays the same. Let me buy cigarettes. <laughs> That's what I want. That's what I really want. That's what I really 18. want. You know what I mean? I'm not out here. I'm going to put a cigarette burn through that did voting you, thing. Did you have a, a scratched ID when you were younger? Like a fake? Of. Of course, course I yeah. did. What Same. are you crazy? Before yeah. New York City licenses changed to something even more hard to like yep. manipulate, yep. they had these like weird sort of ridges in them, mm -hmm. and you could use a, bl a red pencil and a white pencil yep. and chalk your, ID chalk your ID. So to make it seem like you were born in ninety, I used to chalk IDs for people. Oh yeah, I was yeah. really good at it. Yeah, I was. You know, we're we're both eighty four, right? Yes. It becomes an 81 real fucking easy, easy. man. Real fucking easy. Chalking ID. <laughs> admitting to people that you're good at chalking IDs is such a sad 
<laughs> and pathetic thing to admit. And we're all both on the same, you know what I, I mean? I think we're both on the same level of pride with it, though. Yeah, I'm it's like, disgusting. Yeah. The only thing worse is if somebody rolled up to us and you're like, are you good at rolling blunts? <laughs> That's the same equivalent. Like, yo, I'll roll you a tight oh blunt. Oh, my God. It's so pathetic. And I'm, you so know what? Funny. I take such disgusting pride in it. <laughs> same. I mean, like, I'm not condoning that people should do this, but I think. Oh, relax. I think kids do this. Good. Yeah, I good. think Good. I did it. a show yeah. where I was telling, like, you guys don't have fake IDs. They're like, no. And Bullshit. I go, I go, no, they legit didn't. Really? And I go, you guys are pathetic. <laughs> I legitimately told these kids that they're you're not pathetic. living. They're yeah, like, you're not yeah. living if you don't have a fake ID. <laughs> so it's, oh my god! But yeah, that's amazing. She should have chalked her license to be not, not expired. Exp- how would you even do that? I don't know. Uh, definitely not going to work. Oh, wait. We didn't even get to like the... Oh, we're yeah. not done. We're not, oh, we're done. not done. No, 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 no. no I, I, know. I was wondering where you're... Yeah, allow us to move to the next yes, section. Yes, I was going to say. Let's move to the next is, section. All right. You get this... You take a couple Ubers to mm-hmm. Peekskill, yeah. all right? Which, to be honest, isn't... It's far, but yeah. to come... To have your homie go from Albany to Peekskill, two hours. Wild. Peekskill to Buffalo. We're talking maybe another six. Yeah. So that's that's like a total of eight hours of driving. It's and insane. now this is the thing. Okay. Double orphan. <laughs> we have to address double orphan. That's what I was going to say is my next point. I'm like, we have to address that, I think. Yeah. There's no way in hell <laughs> I'm going to have a double orphan spend Christmas with my family. What? Yeah. <laughs> That's my take. That is not I'm what I com- expected you no, to say. I'm coming in spicy. I'm coming in fuego. What? Y- you take your double orphan <laughs> juju and get to moving. Are you serious? Yeah, out here killing Dangerous. double sets. Okay, hang on. That's double insane. homicide? <laughs> That's a double murder. You're going to tell me this guy drove however many hours, hours to, and you're not going to let him in to have some eggnog with Goodbye. your family? You're crazy. Peace you're out. You're so full of shit. No, no, no. I call you on this. I'm telling you right now, get to stepping. Well, no, no, no. <laughs> Fucking hit the bricks, bitch. Yes. No. Um, yes. But it was the guy's friend. It wasn't it's the, the guy's friend. I know. So the, if this was your best this friend. This is my homie. Bullshit. He's got I double. Don't buy it. Double murder? <laughs> He's not a murderer. Double? No, no, no. We're talking two sets, two pairs. He's not a murderer. Two pairs I mean, gone. That we know. Of. No, no, no. You out, buddy. Oh my All god. All right. Listen. Okay. I'm not gonna. Ha- I'm sending this guy on his way. <laughs> you could take the eggnog to go. <laughs> Okay. Crazy. Crazy. You could take a turkey leg to go. Seven fishes. Is you it, get all seven. Is your Christmas at medieval times? I, I'm, I don't know. I'm basing it on like different groups. <laughs> okay. Got all it. All right. I would always do the, my Christmas is always the same meal mm, okay. every year. Sure. Okay. It's at my buddy's place. Mm-hmm. And it's always the same meal. And it's uh, what's an antipasta. It's mm. a ravioli and then a roast beef and mashed potatoes. No, it's very similar to what we do. Yeah. Also, you're at your buddy's place for Christmas and you won't take in someone else. How dare you? The I'm going to tell you right now, I don't. my dad may be dead, but I didn't lose <laughs> multiple sets of parents. You're, but again, we don't know that this guy killed them. I'm I'd not, like saying, to think I'm that not didn't. saying that he killed anybody. I'm just saying double orphan. No, no, no. Bad no. juju. That's crazy. Okay? Crazy. There's something over your over your head, and I want nothing to That's do with crazy. it. That's crazy. And this is the thing. But this guy. Okay. This guy says, you know what? Mm-hmm. We'll take the chance. Okay. Okay? He opens his home and his heart. Yeah. Okay? Bring in the girlfriend less than a year. Mm-hmm. Big move. Bring in the orphan. Right. Double orphan. Double orphan. And the big dog. Uh-huh. Okay? Yep. He says, come spend Christmas with us. Okay. You ain't got nobody. Mm-hmm. All right. You lonely as shit. <laughs> well, we keep, don't know that, but can't okay. Can't keep anybody alive. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh, to the double to orphan. To the double Sorry. orphan. Got yeah. It, you yeah. can't keep anybody alive. <laughs> We're going to let you hang. Terrible. This guy takes a shot at letting this, you know what I mean? Yeah. Clearly, this person may not value his own family. <laughs> All right. Okay. And then she goes, we should pay him. Okay, you you think that that's not fair to pay the guy for gas? I think oh, the fact that I'm inviting your ba- your black luck <laughs> ass in my home around my family 
is enough. Oh my god. You get to spend no. Christmas with my family? Enough. <laughs> God. No, thank you. I feel this like this guy did enough by inviting the double orphan. No. He, this guy was his buddy was in Albany eating a hungry man alone. Don't get me wrong. I think first of all, nothing wrong with hungry man. Nothing okay. wrong with a hungry um, man. <laughs> Big old nuggets. Love it. String beans. Okay, love it. That brownie that you can't get out. You can that, never get out. It yeah, always gets stuck, stuck around in the edges. And you got to eat it, and it's microwave. It's the <sighs> most delicious brownie. Or like kid cuisine when the brownie would get into the corn. Corn, but yeah, eat it anyway. Eat it it's anyway. whatever. <laughs> and it just got really off track. No, no, um, but we're we're right where we need to be. <laughs> <laughs> we're right where we need to be. Okay, so be that as it may, yes. if he was at home alone eating his wonderful hungry man dinner, absolutely. I do think it's lovely to bring someone into your home, and I think that that's a great gesture, especially on a holiday. But that I've been drive... going to my buddy's place for Christmas for 20 years. Okay. I never bring I'm I don't got two sets of dead parents. Okay, but hang on. Are yeah. you showing up empty-handed? Me? Yeah. Generally? Yeah. Are you serious? <laughs> Most times I have. What is wrong with you? I brought I started bringing gifts. Okay. But no, not be... gifts like for I mean you do wine, cookies, dessert, something, oh, oh, bro. Oh, 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 want Yes, 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 yes. Okay, yeah. Yeah, you yeah, bring yeah. something for yeah, the Yeah, oh, I was thinking about like gifts. No, 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 no. I mean again, if you've been I, going me, there that long, is, I mean to, to me wine is like I, that's the most at the minimum. Yeah, I mean that's And like, I don't even drink. Yeah, yeah. And I'm bringing two bottles. Okay. Get but I mean tanked. still. Yeah. Okay, but this guy drove all that way mm. i feel like you gotta at least it's similar to dating you gotta at least make the offer make the gesture can i pay you for your gas something i don't know i'm sorry i'm, I'm not down right with now, your orphan juju i don't think that that's cool this man dude this guy <laughs> brought his girlfriend who's yelling at him i mean yeah brought the big dog that's his fucking choice though i know i get it and now he's got to bring a third thing in tow and that third thing is a monkey's paw <laughs> Of a person, Stop. okay? That's what it is. I'm bringing this hex into my home. Oh my god! This Horcrux is spending Christmas with us. No, thank you. You're going on a sleigh ride to hell. <laughs> Just so I don't you care. Know. But I'm telling you right now, if I'm doing all this, I'm not throwing you gas. Okay, fine. Yeah. We'll have you to agree throw, to disagree on throw, that one. If she wants to throw gas money, yeah. by all means. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's what I think. Yes. I, well, for her to ask him to pay. I think that's not that's not right. If she wanted to offer, I think that's Ooh. Yeah. I did not think you'd go this way. Yeah, no, okay. I, absolutely. I'm pretty reasonable and logical when it comes to stuff like that. Gender shit does not play into in my mind what's right and wrong when it comes to money. Okay. If I'm so, if that was on me and it was my dog that did that or not did that, but that made it that we needed to take a car and not the train blah blah. blah I would have absolutely been like, I'll be the one to offer to pay. Yes. And if the guy doesn't take it, then fine. But I wouldn't ask my boyfriend to pay. No way. Right. Okay. I just, I just wouldn't. But See I mean, but that's and, me. You know what I'm he saying? he opened his house yeah. to this to this cloud storm of a person. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, to this, wait, the cloud storm is the friend? Yes, or the, the friend. Oh yes. I to this upside down cross. We don't have enough information about the double orphan double for orphan you to make these too, judgments. Double orphan is... <laughs> I'm calling it on Kunal. It sounds crazy. All right. I'm not, <laughs> I don't want that around me. Uh, that's insane. Well, okay. okay. Here's the other thing. So we'll move off of that because sure. we will never agree. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but I will say the other thing about this that stood out to me is like, as I mentioned before, you can read the anger in this person's voice yes. when they're writing it, right? So yes. I think that becomes the mindset element of this whole thing where they're like sitting in silence. She's scowling. But it's like, you know, what is it? It's like a rolling stone is just collecting more negativity as mm. you go along. When you have that kind of negative outlook towards everything, the whole thing is going to be shit. But I'm glad that it was like, okay, it turned out to be a nice holiday. Right. But getting there didn't even have to be that bad if you just kind of flipped it on like the, all right, well, look, this is what happened. We got to fucking deal with it. Yes. You know, that's... Roll with roll the with punches. Roll with the punches. Yeah, you have to. I mean, yeah. I get it. I've been there and I'm somebody who definitely is just more wired to think negatively. But mm -hmm. once you do that, it's just like I said, it's a bad cycle. Create so, the world you want to live in. Exactly. All right? Exactly. Exactly. So just like roll with it, figure it out. And don't be like, I hate being mad at people and especially my family or a significant other on a holiday. Like I want to have nice, that's fuzzy feelings right. on the holiday. Holidays, exactly. You know? 
So I think that was also a big part of it. And creating the world you live in is yeah. important. Much yeah. like this guy's buddy created a world without parents. <laughs> oh my fucking God. I'm just sorry. I had to get, I, that, I had to get that in one more time. I'm like, <laughs> I'm going to find the, what is it? The VPN of the person who wrote this. Yeah. And I'm going to ask questions and make you feel bad about yourself. I'm sure I, I won't feel bad, but nevertheless, I just wanted they, to like, get that died out. in a fire. I and mean, then, listen, you know. who set the fire? That's all. I, <laughs> all right. It's sometimes it's not oh chestnuts roasting on an open flame. Sometimes it's your family. <laughs> sometimes it's your parents. Sometimes it's your parents. Oh my God, stop. All right. Uh, okay, Let us well, give. Here, hang on. Yeah. So I was going to say the last thing though is then how would you handle this if you had to handle it correctly? What would be. If I'm the and gal. Don't you dare say not have an orphan friend. <laughs> Take the situation okay. for what it is. Okay. What would if you do? I'm the gal. Yeah. If I'm the gal, I'm offering to pay Albany guy. Okay, but I'm paying Albany guy. And would you redact the yelling from? Oh, I'm immediate. As soon as we're in this car, double Uber mm -hmm. to Peekskill, homie picking us up in Albany, bestie yeah. picking us up in Albany. I'm changing my tune. Yeah. Okay. I'm going. Listen. Yeah. This has been a tough get go, exactly. and I overreacted here. Yeah. Because to yell at a person for not having a, a credit, credit card, card is wild, and it's just gonna make them feel worse. Yeah. Like, it's just. It's, it's, he yeah. didn't want this. He didn't show up at JFK going, man. I can't wait to ruin the day. Right. You know. Right. Okay. Ready for a, a judgment? I think so. I think so. Am I going first? I think yeah. Let's let's swing that way. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, initially, honestly, I was going to be in a weird camp of no one sucks. I was going to actually. Yeah, Interesting. Only because I feel like they're both in their right in a weird way. The only thing that I didn't really agree with was the asking the guy to pay and then the yelling. So it's like and it leans a little bit more towards the writer sucks. But I also felt like her having a dog is not like her fault you know what i mean like you made a choice you have a dog so you know what i'm saying like what do you mean it's not her fault well it, oh she chose to have a dog and sh they want to go to this guy's family lives yeah. in buffalo yeah she you can't take the train she could have boarded it yeah but she it sounds let like a friend watch it there's a lot of other options here to I be honest guess. you could have brought albany guy down to the city and he would have had something to kind of hang out with i don't considering know considering he doesn't have parents <laughs> God, I will. Okay. I'm saying initially yeah. that was where I was going. Cause I'm like, look, these are the choices that they've made in life. Yes. And I don't think they're, they should be faulted for having a dog or not having a credit card. Yes. I think circumstances can lend itself to both of those situations Absolutely. and make it reasonable. So what are you saying? But now I think after debating it a bit, I think I'm going with honestly, the writer sucks. I can't believe that you were, that you said the writer sucks. <laughs> Mostly because I feel the same way. Really? Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> I was like, I, when I finished this and I just stepped, I was like looking at my notes and sitting there. I really think that the writer sucks here. Yeah. And it's yeah. like, I don't want to, I've never felt that way before. Yeah. Because they're like reaching out. Mm -hmm. But I got to say the writer's the one in the L right here. Yeah, I think so. And that's what I'm saying is I really didn't think that at first. Yeah. At first I was like. I was in the camp of nobody does. I yes. was just like, but now I'm like, yeah, in terms of more wrongs, it was the writer, unfortunately. Yeah. yeah. All right. That's that. Wow. <laughs> All righty. Ugh, learn something new every day. But I listen, know. like I said, though, this show is about being self-aware and right. hopefully helping people to realize when they're doing shit that's wrong. We we all do it. I do wrong things all the fucking Left time. Left and right. Exactly. So mm. I'm just like, it's about helping you recognize those things. And I think if you're writing in, I feel like you're taking the chance that you're not doing it to be self-indulgent and right. validated. You're doing it knowing that we might tear you down and say you're fucking wrong and to be honest how much joy <laughs> is your boyfriend going to get hearing this oh uh, yeah he is going to lose it don't as to, say that as to how right he's gonna be like oh man you know i think i handled this relatively well oh and God. how sad is this orphan going to feel <laughs> oh when they hear this that orphan i am gonna reach out and send them a fruit basket you should <laughs> 
<laughs> um, okay. Anyway, if you would like to submit or send your squabble to mm-hmm. us, uh, you can do so via Instagram. We have an anonymous Google form, so it's completely anonymous. And you could also email us uh, at youbothsuckpodcast at gmail.com. Did I say the social media for it? I didn't. It's at youbothsuckpodcast. And okay. uh, I am at Dara Pollock. I am at all day KCA, just like uh, on across all platforms. Nice. Same, same here. And uh, we will see you next week. Have a good one. Bye.